Hello guys and welcome to more Pandaria. Uh, Blizzard just invited about 250,000 more people to the beta and just enabled the pre-made monks once again. I did not have any character copies left on my templates but I still managed to solve this and uh, quite ingeniously I might say. <laughs> I'm a genius! Woo! No, it's not hard to figure out. But anyway, uh, I know I don't think I can use my pro name. No, I can't. Can I use the other name? Yes, I can. Okay. This this place will be flooded. Holy! There will be so many people here now. It's fucking insane. Yeah, monks as well. Okay. Huh? Is this? This can't be. It. Really? Wow. Okay, this is nothing really. Uh, okay, so here is the pre made Pandaren. We have Tiger Palm and Clobber. Huh. Need to find a trainer, I think. This is, yeah, this is. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I have some things. What's this? Meditation? Okay. What? It's a channel ability that reduces all damage taken, redirects, redirects to you all harmful spells against raid targets within 30 yards. Uh, so it's like a raid cooldown basically. Okay. Yeah, I get it now. Okay, I will probably not use that one. Legacy of the Emperor. Okay, it's a buff basically. Strength Agility. And intellect five percent. Okay, detox. Uh, ah, bleeding. Ah, this is the one people have been complaining about. Uh, Pantera, <coughs> Pantera's being able to remove bleed effects, and I don't really care. Increases your health, but you cannot be healed. Oh, what the fuck? That is stupid. Yeah, no, that is real stupid. Par paralysis. Incapacitating that if damage done. Ah, this is a CC. That is cool, I guess. What's this? This is roll. Tiger palm and clobber. Right, okay. Uh, you still can't remove one spec, so I'm not really sure what I should pick. I'm, I'm interested in Windwalker. Tiger status. Okay. <laughs> Exploding Jade Blossom. Wow, okay. Mystery Talent. Mystery Talent. Okay. You roll and she torpedo ability will move you at a slightly longer distance and at a slightly quicker speed. That can be fucking deadly. Every time you roll or she or she torpedo, your move speed is increased. And that is nice. No UI. Okay. Increases the amount of maximum she. Instantly reduce restores all of your she. Yeah, I want more she. Your paralysis has been in non use for 40 hours. Okay. Charging ox wave. Huh? A mighty ox effigy rushes towards the target, stunning all enemies in this path. When it reaches the enemy, uh, they and all nearby enemies within 5 hours are knocked back. Legs, so you knock down on within 5 hours, effectively stunning them. Oh, that is cool. Okay, when a tiny move speed is increased, then you cause that to move at a reduced speed. Huh. Cool, okay. You escape your physical form, the dematerializing, increasing your dodge. Okay. Target all mobilizing effects, increasing the movement speed. Name not final, target's lost. Okay, seems fine to me, but okay. This is not implemented yet. Forms a sanctuary around you. Okay, this is not implemented as well. In case of an overwhelming jade tornado becoming immune to all damage, traveling at a quick speed in the distance in front of you. Okay, so this is the only one available right now. In case of targeting a cocoon of she energy, healing them for 5% of their health and causing them to be immune to all harmful damage and effects. Okay. Oh, here's the sheet torpedo. 
tomato distance in front of you, you do damage and healing. She's sphere, you summon a ball, dealing damage and healing. While it's traveling, discharge, dealing damage and healing to targets. Some slows movement speed. Bind yourself to your targeted statue with a tether of she energy, causing any friend or foe caught in its path to take damage or healing. Okay. <clears throat> Not really sure. I've been reading a lot about the tank, um, tank uh, spec, and they say that it's really overpowered for some reason. I don't know why, but but some people are like, oh, you can't generate any threat at all. Like herp -a derp -a derp. So yeah. nice, nice purifying brew. Instantly purifies all your staggered damage in here. Reduces da the damage taken by stagger and increases the effect of your guard. Uh, yeah. A sturdy brawler who uses liquid fortification and unpredictable movement to avoid damage and protect allies. Unpredictable movement? Huh. Mm -hmm. Increases the chance to dodge. Ah, oh, it's like a um, evasion, basically. Huh. Okay, guard. Okay. Yeah, that is the Black Ox statue. <clears throat> the thing with the statues, I think, I think, when well, I find them really annoying. Um, you know, I, I couldn't see them being used um, properly if you actually... If you could put them down without a cast time or a really short cast time. I mean, now it's like, yeah, almost 1.5 seconds. I have haste, obviously, so... <coughs> and they only last for a minute, I think. No, this is, no, this is another one. Oh, this is not the same one, okay. This lasts for 15 minutes, 3 minutes cooldown. Okay. Whenever you dodge, you gain 5 energy. That is nice. It's like uh, druids, basically. That is. Yeah. Okay. Brewmaster training increases the amount of next guard. Blackout kick. When you parry your next blackout kick, will cost no she. Okay. Purifying eyes. Yeah, it's the one. Okay. Vengeance. Yeah, like all the other tanks. An elusive brawler, okay. <coughs> Mistweaver seems really interesting to me. A bit weird, but still interesting. <laughs> so I will, okay, I had to check this. Uplift, mist, surging mist, soothing mists. The master is? Well. Okay, the master is a sh has a chance to, when you heal, summon a soul soulless sphere to heal a injured ally, nearby injured ally. Okay, sounds interesting. And another serpent statue, 15 minutes, two statues. Okay, passive. It will heal. Oh, so when you deal damage, it will heal the lowest... Lowest health nearby town, okay. And when you click it, people get healed. Like, yeah, uh, it's like a light well, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna try Windwalker uh, as one of my specs. I'm gonna use Windwalker for my first one. It's a mar martial artist without peer who pummels foes with hands and fists. Okay, I want momentum, I want more. She, uh, no UI. I guess that means that well, when you pick this, you won't actually see five she. You will have five she, but you won't see it you know, on your interface. I want leg sweep. I think. Uh, so, yeah, I think so. It's pretty cool. Oh God! Uh, when the time movement speed is increased, that is really cool. I like that actually. Not yet, yeah, I, <laughs> there's one thing to pick right now, in case the target is healing them for health, in case you're friend the target, in, 
for a century across the one we've been able to attend. Okay, yeah, I guess I picked that one then. Not much else to pick. And we have one glyph! Expel harm. <laughs> Cannot be cast on any friendly target. Okay. Interesting. So we got Touch of Death. Oh, this is the one people are talking about. Oh, have you seen this? Holy crap. Yeah, you exploit the enemy target's weakest point, instantly killing them. Yeah. That. Oh my god. I won't. You. I mean, you. Sh you probably won't be able to use that on bosses, but still, it's pretty freaking old power. Ah, here it is. You spin while kicking in the air. Then, yeah, this is the. Yeah, the day we want. Nice. I need to fix my bindings right now. Okay, so we have a buff here. Okay, Legacy of the Emperor. That sounds interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try and use the same bindings as I have on my other characters, you know, like for interrupts and AoE and shit like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Combo Breaker. That, I like that name. Combo Breaker. <coughs> okay. So you. 18% on your next jab to cast your next tiger palm to cast no force. Or your next button to cast no chi. And be usable on targets regardless of their health percentages. That is interesting. And there are a lot of passive shit. Oh yeah, I got the. So, oh what? When you kill an enemy while gaining experience or honor, you have 50% chance to summon a healing sphere. Wow. So you won't be like need to stop and heal yourself or just regain health. You can just kill stuff basically. <coughs> I mean tiger stance, yeah, fierce tiger stance. When you're attacked by me and I'm in front of you, it gives you to spar their attacks, increasing your chance to parry. Okay. <coughs> Name not fail. Yeah, that is the tiger strike. She's that is really cool. I noticed that when I level up my other monk. Okay. Oh yeah, momentum, muscle memory. It finally improves over time. Anytime you jab a target from behind, your sh your chance to critical hit with jab is increased by one percent for four seconds. It can stack up to one hundred times. <laughs> Leaving combat or any. Or an encounter will clear your muscle memory. Wow, that is really cool. <coughs> okay, so we have a lot of shit to check out. Blackout kick is the executability. Uh, yeah, I know that from before. This is the cocoon I picked. The talent that heals us. Uh, I guess I'll use this. I guess detox. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the um, dispel. Uh, okay, clobber. You clobber with your staff, dealing and generating she. Okay, I guess I'm going to use that. I'm not sure yet. I have to try to decide. Shannon's Yade Lightning. Huh? Okay. Can't really see any use for that. I mean, yeah, okay. You do a lot of damage from range, but I don't want to be ranged. Okay, no. Can only be used while in combat. I guess I can use that one. That, that's a cool ability as well. Huh? Oh yeah, it's the CC thing. This is the generate energy. Expel harm instantly heals yourself. Oh, cool. Okay. Explaining Yade Blossom. This the physical damage to the first enemy target in front of you, rooting them. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it uses she. I want more. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Ah, oh, here's the Fist of Fury. Okay. Exploding Yade Blossom. To the first enemy and root it. I don't know, it doesn't seem that good to us. Sword through the Air Force. <coughs> what the hell? <laughs> I, I gotta try this one out. This is really fucking weird. 
<laughs> 25 second cooldown, okay. Increase your health. Oh, yeah, it's the that one. Okay, grapple. You fire off a rope with grapple and return it to you. Depending on the quality, your damage and healing damage and may be increased. Yes, I recognize that one. Healing sphere. Oh, yes, it's the healing thing. That's good if you actually need to heal. Here's the buff, and here's the other buff that increases mastery. <coughs> that is fucking insane really, I mean monks have both